What's up guys, Midwest Tool Review here back again. I've been away, I've been sick, but I'm starting to feel a lot better now. And uh, one of the first videos that I've seen or been watching um, since I've been kind of feeling better has been the uh, Justin Dow um, Name That Tool um, giveaway, I guess, if you will. Uh, he took some flack from some would-be tool connoisseurs, if you want to call them that, about the terminology he used to describe a tool as if it matters. Um, I think uh, Bearded Yakin said it best, you know, you call a tool by how you were taught to call it. And that's kind of what it is. And if you've been around tools your whole life and you've been around your dad and your granddad, there's certain terminology or names rather that are used, that are synonymous for the old timers that maybe have not carried over to the younger um, crowd of mechanics or whatever, or people who think that they know. So I've got a, here's my submission. So I've got a few tools laid out here and this is going to be based upon what my granddad, um, cause my dad was not around. So what my granddad called them. Um, so, um, uh, it's just the names that I know. So here you got vice grips, pretty simple. Now any tool connoisseur says, well, Hey, you know, if it's not Peterson, um, they're not real true vice grips, they're knock, knockoffs. But I've always called these vice grips, doesn't matter if they're the Peterson brand or they are uh, the Master Force, you know, Menards brand or whatever. They're still considered vice grips. Needle nose pliers, these are boss stitch, um, but I've always been told they were needle nose pliers. Same thing with these, these are old Craftsman, um, probably back in the 80s or whatever, based upon the color and look. These are needle nose pliers. Pliers, not slip joint, not whatever, just simple run and mill pliers. Granddad said, get me a pair of pliers. This is what he's talking about. These are really old, uh, right number 82s. I don't know how long these been around, but they, I mean, they look at the teeth on these things. They look great. So, um, but I've always referred to them as pliers. <clears throat> Your Harbor Freight crap, um, Pittsburgh. Uh, these are, sorry, I thought somebody was coming into the garage. Uh, these are just simple wire cutters. We didn't call them dikes or side cutters. They were called wire cutters. I'm from the Midwest. That is the term that we use here. I don't know if it's a cultural thing or whatever the hell you want to call it, but we call them wire cutters. Uh, Believe it or not, um, when I was growing up as a kid, I didn't see a whole lot of these. So, you know, as a grown man, I refer to these as Lyman pliers. I don't know if there's any other terminology to describe them, but in my household growing up, we didn't have these. It was pretty much what you see here in front of you. So um, I can only say that I refer to them nowadays as Lyman pliers. These are not called uh, tongue and groove pliers, they were not called, they may have been called uh, water pump pliers or something like that, but, um, you know, we refer to them as channel locks. Um, you know, that's pretty much what it is, you know, go get me a pair of channel locks. Now, I do have a pair of channel locks. Uh, oh, God, I'm not even going to try to dig that out, but I do have a, a large pair of, here they are, of channel locks. Sorry for the shakiness. Um, but I do have a large pair of old channel locks that, um, you know, I know are the brand name channel lock. I'm not, you know, I know that, but, um, yeah, I mean, these, no matter if it was the channel lock brand or the channel lock type style, we refer to them as channel lock. It's funny that these are called vice grip on there too, isn't it? Um, and then last... I didn't see anybody do a video with these yet, but these are just called snips, 10 snips. Uh, I've been corrected in my video. Oh, refer to them as aviation snips. I mean, whatever. Um, <laughs> most planes today, I guarantee you, they're not using these to cut, um, you know, body work out on a plane, unless it's a little small plane for, um, you know, personal use or whatever, but your, your large airliners are not using these to do major repairs. So I can tell you that. Um, so, but we call these snips, you know, so or 10 snips. 
Uh, so that's just the terminology I use. Like I said, I'm from the Midwest, a little bit different perspective. Um, you know, coming up from a different childhood, this different society. Um, I'm 36, so I'm an 80s kid, but this is what uh, my grandparents who were born in the 20s uh, referred to these tools as, with the exception of this here. Uh, that's what we were, that's what we call them. So, uh, yeah, so this is my submission. Um, please check out Justin Dow if you're su subscribed to my channel, but you've never checked out his channel, please check that out. Um, also, my buddy uh, Bearded Yakin, please check him out as well. Um, real down to earth guy, East Coast guy, or whatever. Um, so, yeah, out in PA. So, yeah, check those channels out. Uh, there'll be more uh, videos coming from me on the Midwest Tool Review channel. Um, I bought a lot of stuff, um, but I've just now, I've, I was diagnosed with pneumonia uh, many weeks back, and uh, I'm just now starting to feel better. Um, so, yeah, uh, leave a comment, subscribe if you're not a subscriber already, and uh, hope you like the video. All right, peace.